Hello everyone. Happy Halloween. Video here of the 2012 Halloween decorations. I'm out on the back sun porch. A few things out here. Gargi there. My Halloween props all seem to have acquired nicknames. Some stuff up there. I left that umbrella there because it's actually, I've turned it into a goth parasol. Spray paint, well not spray painted, fabric painted it black and glued black roses on it or some kind of black flower. I like it. Little Halloween table skirt. I bought this years ago. I don't remember where or why. I just stuck it on there this year. Well, there's a real horror show there. I have got to get in there and clip that stuff and siphon out the clippings so they don't grow too. It's, uh, they need to make underwater lawnmowers. That's all there is to it. Okay. See if this guy will talk to us. He's being annoying. Ah, there he goes. I guess he doesn't like the light, so I had to saw him one. That would be me. His wings used to move. Uh, they just don't anymore. But, no big deal. He's still amusing. Sorry about that. Hit the wrong button. I'm going to go in here and leave him to talk happily to himself. There's not a ton of stuff going on in the kitchen because, you know, as I've said in the past, you need the kitchen to uh, do silly things like cook. I'm trying to slowly reach over here and turn on a light, which I have managed to do, go me. There are some spiders and skulls hanging up there. This camera freaks out at uh, varying light conditions. It's really kind of annoying in that way. But hopefully I have on enough lights that it's just going to behave itself. <laughs> Famous last words. Little uh, candle activity going on in the window here. I've got just a few little busts and tombstones and gargoyles up there. Couldn't really put a candle in that thing because it would have singed the ceiling, which would not be good. But it seemed like a good place to stick it, so I did. I actually have that out year-round. Trying to move slowly so that I don't make anyone ill. Alright, kitties, we're heading towards the living room, but let's stop and say hello to Oliver. Oliver usually doesn't move too much. There he goes. I generally tend to shut these props off at night. And yeah, in true Halloween and Christmas tradition, he turns his back to us. Because, as I said, I generally shut these off because it is not entirely unknown for them to go off at night by themselves. Okay, Oliver, we'll leave you to moan and groan. Now, well, here we are in the living room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello there. He's, uh, he's interesting. He's rather sensitive, so he's off a lot of the time because he would drive us crazy otherwise. And those bells up there play the death march, but the light is wrong for them to go off, and that's just as well because they're driving me crazy too. A little spider with extremely long, 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 long legs draped over another spider. I like spiders you might be able to tell. 
Okay, I'm going to creep, whoop, where, there we go again. I'm going to wander out onto the front sun porch. Another spider. Wreath. I actually have this wreath up all the time, except for Christmas when it would really look out of place, but um, it was already there. Oh, I see. I left that light on, which is not very effective when it's not dark. However, when it is dark and it's shining on her, it's very effective. And see she has a pet spider. When I first put her up last year she looked strange standing there all by herself. Then it occurred to me no oh, there's other props going off. Then it occurred to me to put some of my retired styrofoam tombstones around her and a little creepy cloth and in my opinion that sort of tied it together. Okay, I'm going to swing around here. Hold on to your stomachs. Witch doll. She's very cool. She's out most of the year. The only time she goes in is during Christmas, Yule, whatever you prefer, holidays. So she fits right in. This was a gift on Halloween last year. and It's very cool candy. The thing in there really great so I can do without. <laughs> well, I can do without anyway but that's beside the point. Another square wooden pumpkin. <clears throat> Just going to wander over here for a second. These are cute. We've had a lot of bad weather. I mean I at this point can't remember a time when it hasn't been raining. Today is no exception and so they're not getting light sufficient to trigger them, but when they're in bright light, they start doing a cute little shimmying kind of dance. It's very funny when all three of them get going, but the poor little things haven't been going for a while. A bat wreath. And over there, a spider and web. Okay, we are out of here. Notice out there that my cemetery is not up. We were allegedly, I say allegedly, in the path of that storm, even though I'm almost on the border of Ohio, and they were predicting high winds. So in the interest of safety and also not having my Halloween stuff blow away, I took them down, and of course we did not get it. We got some wind, but not enough to make a difference. All right. This is, <coughs> excuse me, new. The Count isn't new. I've had him for years. If you've seen any of my other Halloween decoration videos, you probably recognize him. But, uh, yeah, he's old. But the coffin is new. Somebody made it for me. And I painted it. And I lined it. I even put... Uh, polyester batting behind the line and give it a little poofy look. I do have some more customization I want to do to it, but I can do that during the winter because, ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> this is not going to be stored in the barn. Mice would no doubt enjoy it. The Count really doesn't have a body. He just kind of comes to a point. So I made him a body out of cushions and a Halloween throw. And this is Haunting Helsa. She came from Grandin Road. She's also new this year. She's pretty impressive. I like her. Okay, gonna swing around again. On here, just some odds and ends. And my skeleton family. I always have to have them. They usually sit in chairs, but this year they're sitting on the couch. So I rearranged the furniture a little bit. And there it goes again. <laughs> My skull collection. Well, for Halloween, it's actually substantial. I don't 
how I ended up with so many skulls. It's my new friend sitting there with his pet vulture. One of the talking heads. Aha! <laughs> she saw me, or he saw me. Somebody saw me. Finally, I have someone to talk to. <laughs> though she hasn't been talking my ear off for the last century. <laughs> few odds and ends. I love this lamp. It's just so twisted. <laughs> little sparklies. Little candles. Not real fire. They're battery operated. Very huge new spider. I got him last year. Nothing like an after Halloween sale. I'm carefully avoiding those this year. I just really don't think I need any more Halloween decorations, seriously. I know I always say you can never have too many, but <laughs> you really can. <laughs> and this guy, as usual, playing the piano. The reason I dress him is because he is not a skeleton like the others. He's made out of plastic or rubber and all wires and stuff so he can be posed so he would really just stick out and look silly amongst them so he gets a different treatment and <laughs> he's actually wearing an old Halloween costume hey it works whatever okay she's probably going to go off again please yep don't be afraid the ghosts here I even get the sweeper friendly. cover in on the <laughs> oh yes I like to put a little whimsical stuff into it so it's not too creepy, although I do enjoy creepy. It's mommy boy, you gonna talk to us, mommy? <laughs> and his friend, the candy mummy, who is no longer a candy mummy, he used to hold a bowl made out of a half of a skull. And uh, I removed that or it fell off, I don't know which. I probably put it somewhere else for a prop. Normally I use a stylized kind of spider web for this, but this year I decided to go more realistic and use that really annoying spider webbing that you can buy anywhere. And I think it was fairly effective. I like it at any rate. cocoon. There's actually a skeleton in there, but I don't know that you can see it. But believe me, it's in there. <laughs> My Halloween curtains. Yes, I have Halloween curtains for the window seat. Put garlands up there. Gives it that nice combination of Halloween and autumn harvesty kind of look. But that's what I'm going for at any rate. Alright, swinging around again. Hold on to your stomachs. Wake up the book. Not me leaning, the book's leaning, so I'm going to turn the camera slightly. Okay, go you. Alright. The potions, mad scientist, whatever section. I always enjoy this. It's an old crystal head vodka bottle that I put water and green food coloring into and I used a glass I think it's some kind of stopper for from something for it various bottles frog's breath <laughs> yeah, I don't think smelling salts are very scary but let's get in here a little bit Purification, purification pills. That's cute. Back up here, man. I'm gonna move this mouse. 
This was one of my favorite pops here, but it doesn't really work well anymore. It doesn't, its sensor doesn't work anymore, but it does still have a button. Oh, it's going to sing to us. How nice. finished serenading us. I'll put the mouse back up there. I like to save various plastic things to make into Halloween props. I don't remember what this came in this, but uh, you can see that I have put it to good use. Same with this. It used to hold a little speaker. Now it holds rubber cockroaches, or plastic as the case may be. <laughs> There's another example of recycling. Put a label on there and it's got little skeletons in it and pumpkins and a cockroach on the top. Charming. This was a syrup bottle. I smashed up some ginger and dumped it in there and I really should have made a label for it but it didn't occur to me. It's got a glass eyeball as a stopper. <laughs> Ether of a warthog. Oh, that sounds great. Let me get down here a little bit. Pumpkin bowl with more plastic cockroaches. Goblet holding eyes. Snake spleen facial oil. Hmm. Slug cream. Yummy. This is a wine bottle. A bottle of wine that a friend of mine sent. And after I consumed the wine, I made a label for it and it's in the display. Don't be afraid! Oh yes, we won't forget you. Oh, witchy poo. What are you looking at? Well, at the moment, you. Good evening! Okay, shut up. <laughs> looking for a handout? I'm freaking her out. And my table. I would like to light these black candles, but I think it would just be a recipe for disaster. So I won't do it. There, I brought the light up a little bit. Maybe that'll help. This thing takes great videos outside. Not so good inside. So if it lightens and darkens, please bear with me. I really do like these. These are interesting. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on to the final room. It's a little dark in here, so I have this off, so I'll push the demo button. Aren't you really glad I did that? <laughs> Some candles. They're not real. They're battery operated. They were a gift from a friend. People give me Halloween decorations. They know that's what I love. Oh, oh. Forgive me. <laughs> Okay, Henry. It's Henry. I guess Henry has nothing more to say. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because in years past, I would put him in the bathroom down here. That we've had Halloween party guests, and they've actually turned him to the wall. I don't think because they feel like they're being watched, but it's more like he never shuts up. <laughs> I moved this lampshade in here so I could put that cover on because I got a new lampshade for the lamp in the living room. And while I'm not going to be using this after Halloween decoration season is done because it has its own lampshade, 
I am not going to throw this away because it's actually a pretty cool lampshade even without the cover, I think. Various fiber optic items. Candy dish. Well, that's seen a lot of action this month. <laughs> Swinging around here. A little pumpkin. That was a birthday present. That is... Croc is pretty big. It's probably about two feet tall. And very cool. I like it. Let's go in the closer angle on the mantle. A black Phoenix Alchemy lab card. I customized that clock last year, painted it black, painted red rum on it and red paint, smashed the plastic cover over the, the hands and put more red paint on to make it look like blood. Skull. It's really warm in this room because of the fish tank. I, it's a salt water tank. I have big, big light over it and puts off a lot of heat. Okay. That's pretty much it. I'm going to walk you back into a brighter area. And that's all she wrote. Happy Halloween. Bye.